Mr. Riley, there's a hole in your bucket. You lift it up. What's going to happen to the water? It's going to fall out. What if it's just a hole in the top? That's a He got me there, Mr. <laughs> All right, so you've got a hole in the bucket. It's going to fall out. Um, how would we know if the rate which the water comes out is affected by the amount of water in there? Well, you'd have to time... Well, it's all about controlled variables, really. Yeah, this is a tricky one. There's a lot you could do. There's a couple of different ways. I'd say it's about controlled variables. Controlled variables. So if you're saying that the water in a bucket and which leaks from a hole, yep. you've got to keep the hole constant. Yep, okay. So we can't have different size holes. Oh, you've got to keep the container constant. Okay, so still a bucket. And then what you've got to do... shoe? Well, no, I would probably would... But if we start with a shoe, we're going to end with a shoe, don't we? Yes, exactly okay, right. Yep. I see okay, what you mean. Cool. Sorry. No, it wouldn't fine. be my choice of no. equipment. Um, in terms of what you're changing, you're changing the amount of water in a bucket. Yep. So you've got to come up with certain intervals of water, depending on what container you use for that. Um, but measuring rate, rate has a time aspect. Rate does have it. It's like speed, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So if you're changing the amount of water, you've got to see whether that affects how much water comes out over a certain period. Okay, all right. So that's the way I would do it. So volume maybe divided by time? Nice. All right, you're right. Get Good in luck. There.